Hey guys, it's Alicia. We are up here at, as you can see, Sharp Top Trail. I've got my daughter, my daughter's boyfriend. Say hi, Nathan. Hello. Say hi, Lissy. Hi. And we're gonna go hike this and see how far we can get. The weather is not looking good. So um, we'll probably get rained out, but we're gonna see how far we get. This hike is a three mile round trip out and back hike at the Peaks of Otter. It's about a 1,300 foot climb to the top, and the elevation is 3,875 feet. It was for a long time thought to be Virginia's tallest mountain, but it is in fact not even the tallest of the peaks of Otter. The nearby flat top is over 4,000 feet, and Mount Rogers near the North Carolina border is Virginia's tallest mountain at 5,729 feet. The trailhead is accessed just off of the Blue Ridge Parkway at milepost 86. It is right next to the Peaks of Otter Visitor Center. Sharp Top does have a rather steep ascent, but it is pretty short at just 1.5 miles to the summit. It starts off fairly flat, but you quickly get into more rocky terrain and there are lots of sections of rock steps. And so it does get a little bit strenuous, but again, it is a fairly short hike. There is a shuttle service that is running the majority of the year, and this will take you within 1500 feet from the top of Sharp Top Mountain. So if you're not able to hike this yourself, you can also choose that as an option. There is of course a fee for this. Well, what you're looking at is a giant hunky wad of bear poop. So, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully we don't see any actual bear. Once you get about 1.2 miles up, you're gonna to come to a junction. You're gonna go left another 0.3 miles to the summit of Sharp Top, or you can also go right, and that goes to Buzzard's Roost. And that is a 0.4 round trip to do the Buzzard's Roost. I didn't do this, but um, next time I probably will, because I hear that the view from Buzzard's Roost is really, really great too. You will first come to a cabin that is day use only. Now apparently they used to use this to sell concessions. Uh, they no longer do that.
And then past this, you will come to stairs that go to different platforms where you can take in the awesome 360 views from this summit. As beautiful as Sharp Top Mountain is, it does have a tragedy associated with it. On February 2nd, 1943, five Army airmen were killed in a World War II training mission when their B-25 Mitchell bomber crashed on Sharp Top Mountain. Remains of the wreckage still can be found on Sharp Top Mountain to this day if you know the location of them. I believe, out of respect to the airmen who lost their lives, the location is kind of hush-hush and not a lot of people know where it is. I would say that these are some of the best views that I've seen from any hikes that I've done here in Virginia. Uh, they were just amazing. Total 360 views and you could just see for miles. All in all, I think this was a great hike and I think it's definitely something that you should check out if you are in the area looking for great hiking spots. I will definitely do this one again. I'd actually like to do it during the fall foliage because I think that would be just breathtaking to see the different colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.